हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय सेल्फ पराग जामुलकर इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन फीचर मेथड टू रन अपेक्स कोड असिंक्रोनसली इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी अनदर वे टू रन अपेक्स कोड असिंक्रोनसली एंड दैट इज बैच अपेक्स बैच अपेक्स इज वन ऑफ द पॉपुलर मेथड फॉर असिंक्रोनस अपेक्स ओके नाउ वी विल सी बैच अपेक्स इन डिटेल सो सी बैच अपेक्स कैन बी यूज्ड टू बिल्ड कॉम्प्लेक्स लॉन्ग रनिंग प्रोसेसेस दैट रन on thousands of records on the lightning platform so basically batch apex is used when we perform operation on thousands of records or even millions of records and because of that batch apex is more popular so see how it works it operates over small batches or chunks of records what is the meaning of this so see batch apex is used to perform operations on thousands of millions of records right so we divide those records in batches or chunks we divide those millions or thousand records in small batches and those batches are processed asynchronously parallelly simultaneously now see one more feature of batch apex that it can be scheduled so we can also schedule batch apex now see how to implement batch apex so what we will do we will go step by step and also we will see one example so see we need to implement database dot batchable interface in apex class so we have to create apex class as usual and in that apex class we have to implement interface database dot batchable so see in last video we have seen feature method example right so see in last video we have seen we have created this method update records which is used to update records right so what we will do same example we will take and that we will convert into batch apex so see look at this here we are creating one class with the name batch example 1 so in the same way how we create apex class in the same way we have to create so see we have to go to file new apex class right so in the same way we have to create class and what we have to implement so see in this class we have to implement this interface what is the name of the interface database dot batchable and in angular bracket here we have to mention s object so this is generic data type on which this batchable interface will work so this is our first step right we have to create one apex class in that apex class we have to implement this interface database dot batchable and in angular bracket we have to mention generic data type s object so see this is our first step now see second step also we need to implement start execute and finish methods of this interface so see this is interface right so whenever we are implementing any interface we have to implement methods provided by that interface right so this interface have these methods start execute and finish so all these methods we have to implement like this here you can see start method execute method and finish method so all these three methods we have to implement we have to implement in the sense we have to write code for these methods now see first method is start method so see this start method accepts one parameter and this is the object of database dot batchable context class this start method returns object of database dot query locator here we are calling get query locator method so this method returns object of query locator and what parameter we are passing to this method here we are passing one soql query so basically to this get query locator method here we are passing number of records then from this number of records this get query locator will find batch scope and that batch scope is passed to the execute method so see to this get query locator method we are passing one soql query right so this query indicates batch scope batch scope means number of records which we want to process and in turn this will return scope for the execute method see here you can see this scope scope means what number of records on which we want to do some processing right so this scope is returned by this start method now see one more important thing about the start method this start method executes only once so see start method and finish method they run only once but execute method runs multiple times so see 
start method it executes only once it return batch scope or number of records right number of records on which we want to do some processing it can return up to 50 million records so in other words we can say batch apex can be used to process up to 50 million records so this is start method now see execute method it executes for each batch or chunk of records so already i have told number of records that we call batch scope and it is divided into small batches right and for every batch this execute method runs simple example we will take see suppose if we have batch scope of 2000 records and suppose batch size is 500 so see number of times execute method will run so see 2000 divided by 500 batch scope divided by batch size right batch scope divided by batch size and in this case it will be 4 so see for every batch execute method will be called so see here we have taken one example right so we can take any batch size by default it is 200 if we have not mentioned batch size so by default it is 200 now see this execute method must have wide return type and each execution will get new set of governor limits what is the meaning of this so for every execution of execute method it has separate governor limits now see in our example here we have execute method right so similar to start method this execute method accepts object of database dot vegetable context class and one more thing that is it is accepting scope and this scope is written by the start method so that already we have seen and this execute method will run multiple times right for every batch it will run so see in our example we have taken lead object right so see lead object in our r has 2355 records right so see we are fetching all records right we are fetching all records so how many records will we fetch 2355 right so this is our batch scope and that batch scope here we are passing to execute method right now see then here we have for each loop so see from this scope we are taking one one record right so already we know how to write for each loop so we are taking one one record from this scope and then we are changing company name so see suppose here i am making tcs something like this and then we are updating this scope so see basically by this execute method what we are doing we are updating this number of records right and what we are updating we are updating company name okay so this is our execute method now see next is finish method finish method executes only once just like start method finish method executes only once it is called after all batches are processed so when all batches are processed after that finish method is called so in other words when all execute methods are called after that at the end finish method is called finish method can be used for the post processing so whatever the action that we want to take after processing all batches so that action we can take in finish method for example see suppose we want to show some message or if we want to inform user by mail so that can be done in finish method so see in our example so here we have written finish method right so just like start method and execute method finish method accept object of database dot batchable context this finish method has written type wide and whatever the action that we want to take after processing all batches so that statements here we can mention so here you can see we have implemented all three methods of database dot batchable interface right so three methods are start execute and finish start and finish methods run only once while execute method runs multiple times now see to run batch apex in anonymous window here we have to call execute batch method this method belongs to database class so see by using this database class we have to call this static method execute batch and what we have to pass so see this is the object object of apex class that we have created and here we have to mention batch size so see in our example here we have taken batch size 500 so here we have to mention batch size and this is the object of apex class if we are not mentioning batch size 
then default batch size is 200. Now see, suppose if we want to schedule batch effects, so see, for that purpose, we have to call schedule batch method and it belongs to system class. So by using this system class, we can call schedule batch method. And here we have to pass three parameters. So see, first parameter is object of Apex class. Second parameter is job name. So any name we can give. So whatever the name that you want to give to this batch job, so that we can mention in this single code. And third parameter is minutes from now. That means after how many minutes we want to run batch Apex. So that minutes, number of minutes, here we have to mention. So see, this schedule batch method accepts three parameters. One is object of Apex class. Second is name of the batch job. Third is number of minutes after which batch Apex will run. Okay, now see, we'll open an anonymous window. So here you can see, here we are creating object of Apex class, right? So with Apex class we have created batch example one. So here we have created one object. Then here we are calling execute batch method, right? This is the object, right? Object of our Apex class. And here we are mentioning batch size. If we are not mentioning batch size, so by default it is 200. And here you can see to schedule batch Apex, we have to call schedule batch method, right? And it belongs to system class. And here we have to pass three parameters, name of the object, batch name, and number of minutes after which batch apex will run okay now see we will close it so see in lead object we will refresh it okay so currently company name is PICT right so what we will do we will change company name to TCS okay one more thing that we will do we will clear this log so see what we will do debug clear log panel okay so see log is clear right okay Again, we'll go to anonymous window. Okay. Now see, we don't want to schedule. So what we'll do, we'll comment this. Okay. Now see, we'll click on execute button. So here you can see our number of records are divided into batches and those batches are processed separately. Here you can see. Okay. Now see, so what we have done, we are changing company name to TCS, right? So previously it was PICT, right? Now we will click on refresh grid. So here you can see company name is changed to TCS. So in this way we can write program code for the batch Apex. This program code and this word file I will share in my Udemy course. You can download it from the resources. Okay, so we will meet in next video. Thank you.